Oh, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, uh, a Swedish army has wandered within range of Berlin and now the garrison force are actually the ones that are doing the intercepting. So we will be taking them out. They have a lot of cavalry, lots of good infantry, they have some artillery so they might gradually make their way in. But let's chew them up before the walls of Berlin. So this is going to be very necessary while we uh, punch through the Middle East. But well, I say punch through the Middle East, we know that the Ottomans are now firing stacks towards Baghdad left, right and centre. So we may actually get a bit bogged down. So I suppose with Baghdad we need to upgrade that city to keep producing troops and also to keep sending troops up forward from India. So get everyone outside for now. Come on. Deploy properly. There we go. Okay. So. My howitzers just stay at the back so they can fire as much as they can. My chasseur up here on top of the walls above the gates because the AI doesn't seem to attack those attack the gates as regularly. Put some guard infantry up as well. Maybe some fusiliers. Fusiliers should be okay there. Should. Uh, the gunners are going to hunker down in cover behind the uh, command HQ. Our cavalry are going to join them. And now, so then we've got our general and four regiments of infantry. That's quite a good little reserve. And there we go. Oops, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Pardon me. Right. So they their artillery is focused on us. We could attempt to fire against them with our round shot. But that's not entirely necessary. It looks like we do have sound bugs coming in. So all the guns are firing. And they're going to quick climb the bejesus out of these troops. And that's lovely. Garrison Foot Guards and the 52nd Regiment of Infantry. They've got a taste of it too. Yeah, the Fusiliers don't look that nifty. But then again, I suppose we are we are Louisiana based on Royalist France, so we've got the white coats rather than the blue. Some more blue would be nice. So the interesting thing is Guardsmen actually aren't as... Yeah, they are worse than line infantry in the fight, just from an accuracy perspective. Engineers, Western European infantry, Western European infantry, guards. Okay, maybe I ought to start targeting these guys a bit more independently now. There we go. So again, I don't know why we're getting sound problems. It's funny, really. So, the sound will bounce on and off between battles and even during battles, to be honest. So they're going to attack the 11th Regiment. This is why I like having the light infantry up here, because they are accurate and they, are do, they do a good amount of damage. I mean, I hope that doesn't mean the garrison guards are about to try and climb the gates, especially after what I just said. There we go, see, it's back. The darndest thing. Okay, why have you guys not? Why are you guys not opening up? Okay, they are massing under this regiment of foot. You men all keep firing. There we go, you want them to be 
you want them to open fire because they've got so many troops. The AI, if the AI runs around in front of the walls, and that's like the worst thing to do. Okay, you guys all stop firing. Get my engineers up here. I have to start feeding men into the action. Oh, I've got more guys coming up, eh? Okay, thank you for reminding me how it says. Round shot, 12th light horse. Eh, they're coming in. This is their assault. Too bad you guys aren't actually firing on them. Actually, I might get a regiment in Etranger up there, get the fusiliers off the wall. There we go. So my guardsmen are fighting off a regiment of line infantry, so they should win there. These guys might take a bit more support because they've got garrison guards, uh, engineers getting up, climbing up the walls, and obviously a few more units of scamps looking to cause problems. Fusilier, line. Okay, let's bring the line over and let's put the lights over here. Actually, let's get my howitzers to focus on the field artillery. Because it looks like they are focusing on this section of the wall, which would be quite interesting to just let lure as much as many men as possible up there, up, up there, and let um, some of my men be sacrificed for the greater good. Make of more Louisianans. Okay, these grenadiers of these guardsmen, engineers have finished. There we go. These Swedes are. Veterans. I really hope we can we can do some good work against those artillerymen. So the guards are routed. One unit of guardsmen have routed. Still trying to climb. The engineers are almost wavering. The problem is, is now they've got loads of guardsmen up here stuck that can't leave. Yeah, I'm fairly sure they're not targeting... Well, they might be targeting. We knocked out one gun team. So if we knock out the gun team, then the cavalry runs away without a fight. Let's get my regiment étranger on fire at will. We do have a... Why are you wavering? There's loads of you and you're surrounded by all your buddies. Let's get you guys out of the way. Come on, a few men fire at will. Then you should be able to pick up some artillery and start to attack the enemy. Come on. I'm gonna have to just keep wearing them down. So that's the 12th regiment that's wavering. 79th still in good spirits. So they just lost a bunch of their own guys that fell off the wall. Interesting to know that's the effect. Are these guys going to actually climb the wall? Or are they just going to wander around?
Okay, you guys. Most of you guys get off the wall. Well, no, some of you will have to stay on the wall because we want them to keep attacking. If I move my men off now, then they won't. Then they won't. Um, they'll stop shooting at that section of the wall. So I have to keep one unit, probably you guys, like this. If I can't knock out their artillery, to be honest, I wouldn't mind having a breach because it makes it quite a simple follow-up job. Yeah, it always does feel like when the sound bugs are on, my artillery doesn't necessarily do what I want it to do. So you men man the wall. Where are you charging? Oh. For some reason, there's a hole. Oh, I know why. There's a guardsman who climbed down, and I guess he's trying to run in through the door. Yeah, there they are. There we go. So get some fusiliers in there. Get them to form square. I've got my cuirassiers. How dumb is that? There they go. They're broken. Okay, let's speed up time. Because right now it's only my howitzers that can do anything. There we go, they've got a way in. Let's speed up time and see if they make use of it. So it doesn't look like they are, in which case then. Deploy the cuirassier. Avoid the pikes. Go after this provincial caravan and go after their artillery. Let's get my howitzers to hit the pikemen. They formed a rather handy dandy pike square. Why are you wavering? Maybe we're getting shot at by their artillery. Well, their artillery is limbered up as well. Very well. If you're going to wander off, go after the artillery instead. You guys stop firing. You knock out their gunners. Chomp. Still got some cavalry stuck on the wall. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there we go, then my heart just hit the pikeman with quick lime. Turn my light infantry back onto fire at will on the walls, and let's speed up time. Just because. Just because you may as well. The, the sieges can be awfully buggy. So you may fire at will. Nope. Swedish reinforcements, eh? Okay, don't worry about them then. 
bye bye provincial cavalry let's go hit the 15th light horse while our howitzers attack their general poor poor old hussars yeah let's speed up time again just because cavalry v cavalry when there's nothing else to do is just not great actually let's stop shooting artillery at all because our cavalry advantage will win anyway there we go yeah that's a bit of a dodge battle you usually you usually do want the AI just to you know make the call attack you or don't Uh, decline the attack. I'm not about to fight another one because that was a bit of a bit lame compared to that. Especially that's a smaller army, so I'm just going to auto resolve. So long, suckers. Raid away, chaps. That's okay. It's not the uh, primary focus for Louisiana at the moment. Yeah, they're aware that I'm trying to outflank them. But the main problem is that big column of Ottoman troops coming down from Baghdad. That is, is the problem. So Baghdad, yes, you might get over here. I mean, you don't have any field artillery. That's because you can't really get it, can you? Your humble servant. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're going to go up to this bridge. March. Holding this bridge would be interesting, but I need to have two armies, one either side. But even then, that would still be it would still be dodgy. Yes, sir. You're still going for your sprint, to Syria. Ooh. River crossing. Okay. Bring you guys up for reinforcements. Do you have any? You got two. Two guns, a bunch of hand mortars. Can nearly get to Ardabil. Leopold Boomba Marche. Go hit Mortiz Orange Bar. Which that might be an auto. So I know my army is depleted. But we weren't going to push onto Ardabil till next turn. So keep pushing. You, you're going to still keep pushing up to the rear of the Swedish positions. You guys are going to head straight to Baghdad. You guys. Might f march towards the middle. Okay, so Marcel are up. Can you guys leave? You can leave. So let's build a general. Two Crossier, Colonial Cav. Build some six pounders. Let's keep my artillery production on the go. You guys go. Get my spy up towards Ankara. Um, okay. And then down here. Your orders, your majesty. Combine all these guys. One thing you can definitely do is recruit artillery to join you. Twenty-four pounder guard artillery. Let's get another general, Remy Bousset. They can also start recruiting because they do need a lot more men. Actually, his Indian mercenaries just aren't aren't what I need. 
case you're out here. More orders. So the general, let's actually start to go ahead and Anything more? peel away Lord. troops. Let's get two Gurkhas. I mean, I might end up just moving them all across. <laughs> no, let's split them up. Four go to that army, four go to that army. Okay, military technology, shortened carbines. So you know, you're now on to top gallants, that's okay. Still waiting on machine rifling, rifling and shrapnel shot. Okay. Do some building. Now you guys are also going to end up pushing up into Swedish territory. Theodore is going to knock out the remnants of that Persian army. Ready for orders. To be honest, if we're doing this massive military rec recruitment campaign in um, in the Middle East, then these armies that are caught that are stuck behind are just going to push up into Swedish territory. I mean, it's going to take longer, but once we're in there, we can just break out. So let's keep Corland replenished because it looks like they are going to at some point hit us with a large number of men fleet arrives we have another army do i sail and take naples i think the answer is yes if i can get there if not i'm gonna have to land on No, I can't force my way through because that's a really good fleet. In which case then... Sail it to Bilbao. Deploy the army. March on Madrid. I mean, Madrid's not even protected. Let's... I mean, it's protected by a few troops, but it's mostly just clean a line and garrison. Let's, let's do it. Let's knock out Madrid and then begin to push in the Iberian Peninsula and secure the, uh, the passage into the Mediterranean. Um, I was contemplating landing in Morocco, but I thought, no, that's the kind of thing we're already doing in a different campaign. Let's attack uh, Spain from a different direction and let's go straight for the capital. Let's go straight for the heart of the country. And we, so we can rec continue to recruit troops to then continue our advance into the Med. Because Naples would be a good one to capture. Because Naples gives us a secure base in the centre of the Med. And somewhere a bit closer to conduct offensive operations against the uh, Austrian Empire. So you guys are in there. You're not all hidden. I mean, you don't really have to hide them, but I just hide them because, it, just in case they fire any artillery at them. Okay, my infantry spread out. Guard to call Colonial Line and Curacier, waiting. I mean, my quick climb can just open fire on whatever it likes, because there's so many low quality units everywhere. The main objective will be to help thin them out once we've made a breach. Yeah, there we go. They're all focusing on my infantry. That's right, young fellow. Get yourself back up and into the fight. Yeah, it's a lot of men. Fortunately, they've only got one howitzer. One mortar. Because if they had lots of mortars, the danger of having lots of troops is that they do tie you up enough they do tie you up for long enough that you can't necessarily attack with any great speed oh, I've hit one of my gunners fear not lads the way in is clear Get more Howitz unit to attack the 12th regiment because they're behind the lines in a nice quick climbable chunk. 
another volley of artillery fires coming in. There we go. The militia are being knocked down. But yes, with Spain secured, the armies in France can then begin to more appropriately push against the Austrians, not having to, to worry about the southwesterly front. That would be my... that's the main win out of this, I think. Yes, that's right, deploy line infantry to stop us. We've pushed you out of the colonies, we've destroyed your colonial empire, and now we're coming after you, Louisiana. But first, our gunners need to make a way in. Fire! That went spectacularly badly wrong. One more volley ought to do it. How the shots coming in? Might get some collateral shot or get collateral damage against this infantry. Oh, well, maybe not. But let's watch my watch the guns and then speed up time a little bit just for them to reload. There we go. Quick over to the wall. Hello, militia. Bye, militia. Bizarre. And here they go. Like little ants, they're coming down to uh, try and protect the way in. My howitzer is just going to bombard. My field artillery is just going to bombard here. Oh, there's okay. The shots bounce. You hit that garrison line, you guys hit this militia. Yeah, see. So we're still doing some good damage. All oh, this garrison line can stop us though, that's the problem. Or slow us down, <clears throat> at any rate. Okay. At least it's just the one set of guns. Because then at least we've not got a, uh, a battery of eight or so to concern ourselves with. Can you men run? Yep, yeah, they're attacking my assault forces. And they thought, yeah, maybe we ought to spread some out of it. But let's get up, out, get our infantry out, in case any of them decide to leave the breach, because they can't stand being bombarded. This unit can get in close. Draw the. F Actually, no. You might just you're just gonna get shot to pieces if you do that. Try scale this section of the wall. Hello, the enemy. The AI, the enemy are coming. So let's pivot you. Few of artillery still shooting. Yet yeah, they are. That all oh, that didn't help. So now they're charging. 
The militia are coming. But yeah, like now my now my game's all frame ratey because I did that. <laughs> How weird. Here comes the firelock arm citizenry. To be honest, it's a great big. All my quick climbing howitzers fire on the center, fire on the opening to the breach. All my men are scaling the wall in good order. Those militia have been pushed back, as has that, as has that militia. And this militia still remains. They too will be pushed back. There we go. Colonial armed citizenry. Well, the armed citizenry have gone. Let my men just mass on the walls for now. Quick climbers work on the breach. Yes. Mountain Jaegers did not like that. Whoa, no, 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 no. Mass. Okay, right, now they're attacking us. You guys go get in, the Marines go get him. You guys go get him. You guys also go get him. You guys just get over here. These men and marines try and get off the wall. Let's move my cavalry and mass over here. Keep quick climbing the centre because you don't want to send troops in like that. Lots of militia coming up to attack the 133rd, so we need to make an opening. But these guys, I want to run right. Because you guys have got that garrison line unit well and truly surrounded. Get these men off the walls. It looks like they might be a bit bugged. for an attack vector. These guys are finally twigged what their orders are. We need to knock out these units so we can capture the bridge, the, the gate. Oh, how it says don't seem to be having the right effect on the units defending the breach. More men are also joining them. Hopefully these shots are a bit better. A bit of a miss. Attack towards the the ramp here because it looks like they're sending more men to join them. Good, the good, the gate's ours. In comes the cavalry. I mean, I didn't mean this to happen, but all right. You want a slightly more experienced than the Spanish. Those Amazons aren't going to be around for very long. Cavalry in. Light cavalry go attack the mortars. 
the men defending the gate have been pushed back out, so hopefully my fire by rank chases them. There we go, they, they're out. But they're not over. It's not over yet. Okay, let's get these marines to also fight the 19th. Marines in colonial line, they'll be okay there. Keep my cavalry away from those infantry units because we're about to quick climb them. Cease fire with the field artillery. Let's get my cavalry over to go and attack the 10th foot guards. Let's also get the marines. Don't fight this action, get over here. I mean, it's unfortunate because we're going to get blocked in here by these Amazons. Chop up the 10th foot guards. Like I said, I want to avoid these guys because I did attack, give them orders to be attacked by my howitzers. Very well. You fight the Amazons. You guys line up and fire by rank. You men attack down the ramp. Yeah, so those guys won, but this is why I've got my marines here, because they'll hold them off pretty effectively. My regiments here, fire by rank, with fire by rank, should provide a critical capability against the enemy here. So you men charge off of the the center. The camera will, the timer will stop, but it won't be reset. <laughs> I can get those guys into the center to hold. Firelock Arm Citizenry has returned. Sent these colonial lights on a bit of a suicide mission to attack a square just to hold them up. My fire by rank is doing their glorious work against the Spanish line. It looks like it might be a bit tricky because we're getting bogged down in a lot of places. Well, there we go. Pull the cavalry back. It doesn't matter because Madrid is ours. So, yeah, sometimes you do have to play with play for the victory condition rather than the, the actual domination of the enemy. So there we go. They're going to make us pay for that because there's a whole bunch of troops just waiting so we might get a turn or so to be honest do i just ferry well in one turn these guys will be replenished so i can just send them down to well not replenished they'll be at full strength anyway so i can just send them down to spain yeah there we go i mean you well you actually you guys don't have any that's probably what I meant to do. Guards and... Hmm, horse artillery it is. So we've done the fleet arrives. Raids, carbines. But yeah, so when we've got Spain... Well, to be honest, this guy can go now. Down towards here, where the, where the Austrians are doing some pushing. We can send one army down here to build a fort in this pass to block the Savoyards for doing anything tricky. I mean, they can come up through the north as well. Yes. But critically, I mean, I might just push on Brussels. 
just go offensive now in uh, from a French perspective. Because Thomas Louis Thomas Nipis Nipis can attack Brussels. I want to quickly look at what else is going on. So if we take Brussels, this army with a general Alexis Charnock. If you guys left Paris, they wouldn't hate it. In which case, then let's pick up more men. Let's get some Cheval Leger. Because we can send you east to hit Strasbourg. And we'll start a bit of a push and solidify our lines. Then Hanover and Berlin in this little pocket here won't be quite as vulnerable. This bit, this area does concern me. But that's why I just built a bunch of colonial line because we're going to need infantry. We're going to need a lot of infantry support. I mean, lots of these infantry... Actually, that's not a bad army. But lots of these armies are very irregular units. Make ready. But you need to replenish. You need artillery. But that's what we're recruiting. Yes, this army is good, but it needs replenishment. We're all going to be positioned up on the ridge. We did that, but before we do that, let's take Louis Thomas Nipis, Nipisse. We are going to attack Brussels, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a bit of offensive action against the Austrians. Cheers everyone.